Oh, Hajime, how do you like it? What do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. I brought it from the supermarket. The place sure does seem to have everything. I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. There was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, hey guys. What's up, Gundam? Good Even though that man is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the gourmet cuisine of the multiverse. Alright, you crazy diamond. Hey, what's up? That's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Man, that was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? How annoying! Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how friggin' annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. Byaku, you put it in that Duralumin case of his. Aw, man. Uh, okay. I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds out we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... We've got to do something about it. You're right. We should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. Huh. I wonder. Mm. I wonder. So, we're on the same page then? I'm not sure I understand. Alright, Mahiru. Mm. This old place sure is run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all the trouble of cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See? Check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrank because of deterioration? Don't see op don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it won't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. Oh boy. Whoa. That creep Byakuya rubbed his ham hands all over me and called it a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to the guys, too. <laughs> so, I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Huh? <laughs> I'm pretty in demand, you know? Oh, you're kidding. Alright, Nagito. <laughs> Even though it took me the entire day just to clean this hall, I'm glad everyone's so happy. Cool. Um, do I do anything? There are a lot of fancy-looking party dishes on the tables toward the front. Um, cool. Such a big table. Will dishes be placed here too? Can I leave? No? Okay. Uh, air conditioning. Let me click on it. Oh, it's not the AC, it's this thing. It's nice that there's an air conditioner, but the filter might need to be cleaned before we turn it on. Cool. Um, what else? Dishes! No, oh, we already looked at that. I've talked to everybody, haven't I? Did I talk to Kaz? Ah. Finding that wrench wasn't easy. I hope it gives it back to me later. Okay. I am at a loss. What do I want to look at here? Can't leave. What am I supposed to be looking at? Um, oh, I can look at the windows. Iron plates? That reminds me. I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway, too. But why are there iron plates bolted onto the walls? All is not what it appears to be. Eh? Stayed. One of my four devils, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Through that, uh, although that iron plate appears to be bolted onto the wall, it is actually bolted over what's known as a window. <coughs> a window? Let me tell you. There are no this. windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. 
But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my domain. Sandy, it appears your fur is rustly more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day. Countless lives grasp their first breath, and countless more go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know? Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but this place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent protagonist ring through the dining hall. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hmm. Teru Teru is in the kitchen, and it appears Fuyuhiko did not come. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez. It's not like you need to apologize, Pekka. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? What? More importantly... Hmm. Come on! Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Byakuya's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Not possible. Dangerous! As he stomped his way towards the table... Today, what are you doing? <laughs> You're hogging all the food! No fair! No, I'm not! I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not... Look carefully at this dish. You don't have to eat it to get the skewers out. It looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? <laughs> what am I watching? That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. <laughs> Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Huh? Oh? Some messy eater ruined my arrangement! Hm. Who made this dish? Um... Uh, that would be me, but, uh... Are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items! No, 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 no! Dangerous? No. That's churrasco! It's a South American meal where you stab meat onto an iron skewer to cook it. Mm -hmm. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. These iron skewers are a problem. Why? Iron skewers aren't allowed either. If that's how you're acting, there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. My condolences. <laughs> Byakuya's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Um... Where did he go? Oh, there we go. Hey, what's up? Let's go. Alright, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there's no dangerous items. Thoroughly, huh? Byakuya stomped into the kitchen, and I followed after him. Listen. Let's get on with it, then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Byakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look. I found these. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Oh, don't tell me those, too. Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Byakuya threw the forks and the knives into the Duralumin case, one after the other. We're being very thorough about this. Um, how about the knife set? There appear to be various types of knives, but these... What? Out of the question. Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me, and I'll safeguard them. Byakuya grabbed the knife set from my hand and threw it into the Duralumin case with the rest. Of course. Okay. Um. Anything else dangerous? How about an equipment list? This paper is... I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses... There are also iron plates for barbecue, and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on this shelf over here. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. What? One of them seems to be short. 
Hey, is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me repeat. I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise to not let everyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've just been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll, I'll just tell you a little bit of it. Hmm. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Piakia has a past he can't talk about? Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn, for a long time my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good use. If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned. That's enough. Now's not the time. However, one day, and there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him. Deeper than I thought he'd have. Such silly talk. Hey, enough with the unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Uh, yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works us hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Um, how about this meat? Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes, too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Teru Teru, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. I see. Well, it seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer or the churrasco earlier. Inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. <laughs> I don't know what he would have done if he said fish bones and meat bones were dangerous items too. Huh? <clears throat> Why? The kitchen's a mess! What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. There are no knives or forks! Why? How come? Don't make me repeat I literally myself. just said that I removed all of the dangerous items. You're kidding, Don't right? tell me. You're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items? No, 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 well, no, no. Most of the dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but... But still... Hajime! Stop it! Get off of me! Eh? Oh, not into that sort of thing. Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list, and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's right, as far as I know, that's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? It's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? You're right, there's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well, all I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. Alright, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You two, Teru Teru, come to the dining hall for now. Uh. <laughs> okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. Uh. They're finally back! Hey, hey! Hey, let's eat already! I'm starving! Hmm. There is still an issue we need to address first. Lies! An issue? Right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word and I'll do it for you. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this duralement case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Now, can't we just leave it here? Hmm. I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um. Someplace safe? Oh, there is a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then... Then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Aww. Huh? Who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Uh... <laughs> uh, are you sure? I guess... It insists. Uh, just kidding. Aww. But it'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. 
<laughs> if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However, if Teratero has gone to the trouble of cooking, is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. What? If you're going to do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Now, why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with tons of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. Also, I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't have time to clean the storage room. <coughs> if you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's a circuit breaker in there, too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty, either. Understood. So, I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Taking with her the Duralamin case and a plate piled with food, Pekko left the dining hall. I see, I mm, see. Seeing Pekko's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. Huh? But shouldn't she have taken the other case with her, too? <laughs> this... No, this case is fine. That's weird. No fair. You're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This Duralamin case stays with me at all times. I put the key to the other case in here as well. I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. <sighs> Importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party. No, there's still more. I'm gonna do it! Uh, who do you want me to meet the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already! Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Hmm. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Uh, are you talking about... That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt his party. I'll show you my serious All right! Side. So, you let me eat if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on! Wait a sec. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just going to end up perforated. Move. Are you telling me to wait until I starve to death? Hey. Starve to death? It's a little extreme. Hm. Our opponent is not someone we can fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about it. What? Do something? You? Hey, hey. Hey now, well, what can a girl like you do? You just want to put yourself in danger. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You, you won't? <laughs> Do you intend to utilize Monami? Yep. Yep. If I can talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least, that's what I think. <gasps> that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. Oh! Plus, Monami and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. <laughs> well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? W will you really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So it's all settled, right? Then can we... <laughs> You're right. Let's begin. All right! Fine. <laughs> so the banquet has finally commenced. <laughs> you better keep me entertained. And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! <laughs> I, I can't stop! <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my face! <laughs> what a strange person. Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. You're not eating? Then I'm gonna eat all this by myself! I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey everyone, while we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow, that sounds wonderful. Please do! This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now it feels reassuring. 
We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who developed a sense of unity. <laughs> Nekamaru, did something happen? The party's just started, but I must return to my cottage. Come on. Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop me. There comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. If I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. Sure. Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man! Oh, so he was talking about the toilet. What? If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? <laughs> what now? Impossible! My hellhound earring has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? Oh, calm down. You probably just dropped it somewhere. Sure. I'm gonna shit! Quiet. Shut up! Don't you dare! Oh, hey, is it really alright if I eat all of this? Don't be an idiot! Make sure you leave some for me! Come on! Hey, Byakuya! Everyone, come on, I'm gonna take a picture! Say cheese! Why can't you all act a little more mature? What? What was that sound just now? Zap! It's dark all of a sudden. <gasps> it's a blackout. Blackout. A blackout. Hey, I can't see anything. In that instant, as we stumbled around in the darkness, our fear swallowed us up like a flood. It's pitch black. My future is pitch black. The sounds of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, and were immediately swallowed up by another sound. What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. <laughs> this is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Zap! Ah! At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. That is... Mikan's appearance had been compromised. Oh, God. Oh, good lord! Come on! <laughs> Nothing like this happened in the first game! Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Yay! An erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment! I am aware! Just help her, please. Everyone, I think it would be best if we help her already. Thank you, Sonia. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry for all this trouble. So sorry. Hey. Yeah, from now on, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad the lights are on back here, too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi. You were unusually useful this time. Hey. No, I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Well, then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you Who knows me? You're so useless. <sighs> it's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in the dark. Oh, my. What happened? Sonia, did something happen? Um... No. Byakuya is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Byakuya? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Byakuya, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room. 
So can I ask you to check the entrance, Hajime? Uh, yeah, got it. For now. Then I guess I'll go look in the office. Then... <clears throat> I shall look around the hallway. Oh, I'll wait here, since I'm kind of in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on? Mm, I must... Bathroom! Sure. I must man up and check the bathroom! I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez! Mr. Ham Hands ran away just because there was an itty bitty black hat? <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Byakuya go? Uh, I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. I'm assuming this is the entrance. <laughs> Chiaki and Manami and Manami are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma? Huh? Hajime, what about the party? Oh, uh... Hubba, it's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet! Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Byakuya pass by here? Nope. Byakuya? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Byakuya? There was a sudden blackout inside the building, and Byakuya vanished during that time. So we thought maybe he might have gone outside, but... Nope. Nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think... That's what I think. Hey. Hajime, uh, how'd it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. That's... That's weird. No one was inside the storage room, either. Hmm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange, Nobody no? was in the office. That's weird. What about Pekka? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pekka was there. Huh? pekka has gone, too. Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to get themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom. Well done. Truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Um. Did something happen, Akane? It smells. Do any of you smell something? Well. When partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria, releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed into the intestinal tract. But whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. I would appreciate it if you did not say that again, Mikan. Yes! Those are the mechanics of farting, but farting isn't something to be embarrassed about! It's not like that. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> it smells like blood. Blood? As Akane's nose twitched like a beast's, she suddenly pointed. <sighs> it's coming from over there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. Do I dare click on this? Smell of blood. What in the world is at that table? It's under there! Under the table? I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out towards the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen. With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. And not, no! This game just had me liking Byakuya a little bit. What I saw, I saw the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Tagami, already dead and beyond recognition. Oh, why? He had so much. To, I have so much I needed to ask him! He survived the first game just to get off. And we never found out why he was fat, either way. Why is I just stood there, horrified as showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. Why? 
This is... It's impossible. Are you kidding me? Don't mess with me. This must be some kind of mistake. <coughs> this can't be real blood, right? It's gotta be something like jam or sauce. Because if not, this... <laughs> what the hell? Good gracious. Things quickly took a turn for the worst. My, now this is interesting. Thrills, On chills, this tropical thrills. island paradise known as Jabberwock Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Could it be? Uh, hold on. Then, does this mean... <laughs> of course. Oops. Hang on, I'm trying to turn that auto dialogue off. There we go. Byakuya was killed by one of you! It's like automatically advancing in this dialogue. What? Of course! If you look at the body, you can tell instantly. He was obviously murdered! <laughs> look! He has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force. All thanks to someone's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this. If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Hmm. Byakuya was most likely sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered. The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that... But I've accepted the fact that Biakuya was murder. What, what is this? Is this... Is that really Biakuya? Why? Why did this happen? Why Biakuya? I see, I see. It appears Fuyo Hiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna so do? So in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? <sighs> I gotta say, I really was not expecting Pyakia to a go first. Body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Class trial? Hey, um. I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct! That's right! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit! That's impossible! It can't be! Someone actually killed... There's no way! <laughs> if you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect! That's... I won't believe it! One of us killed Byakuya? There's no way! Something as hopeless like that would ever happen! No, no, no! If you're actually thinking about it that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer! <laughs> come on, come on, let's hurry up and begin! An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened. And it's already started! It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey! What are you saying? You can't! Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says! No matter how much you interfere, there is only ever one truth. On my grandfather's... What? You have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... Great! Your grandpa is dead! What happened to him? On my grandfather's... Plane? Emergency. What happened to your grandpa? Did his plane crash? I don't even know where to begin. At this rate... Partner anymore. Yeah. It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. <laughs> what? Did you see that? This stunning display of power. Defy your big brother, and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. <laughs> if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Oh, I guess Usami can bleed. Usami can yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovey doubt and dovey deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. I wish you the best of luck. 
And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What? What does this mean? This? I don't understand this at all. Oh. Search for Byakuya's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Oh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um... You can't doubt each other, because you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Hamhands really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all going to get killed, right? Please wait! That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. So... Seriously? Did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. We gotta do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forgive you! No! Friends doubting friends is a major no-no! Shut up! Shut up! Just go away already, you useless piece of trash! Ooh. Threats are scary. Do we really have to do it? But... No. I don't want to do something like that. No! I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However... It is just as Hiyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Byakuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's, there's no way. So, for that reason... Yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Byakuya's death. I will do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves. There's no mistake. But that which is trying to crush us. This despair! This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm going to survive this, then I have to fight it. Um... Before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh, yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> destroyed the evidence? Pointing! Look, over there! That big bulky brummy guy is perfect for the guard job. Oh! Um, what the heck? What happened? Man. That guy has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey. Can I be the one who watches the crime scene? I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Byakuya's side. That's the least I can do. It's, that's what guard duty is, right? Uh. Uh, Hiru. Uh. Um... I'll do my best. I'll do my very best not to get in your way. Yes. I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy, please. Um. So, you're going to stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. Hmm. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grade of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us would be able to do that. Hey. So, let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Byakuya. <laughs> but to perform an autopsy on your friend? How cruel. <laughs> but I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe. I won't believe. I don't believe if Byakuya got killed. I don't believe that at all. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Fine. I'm in. You are right. So if we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. Investigate. Ta-da! You thought it was time for the investigation, but... <laughs> Just as I thought. You amateurs need this, right? What? what the hell is a Monokuma file? I don't like this. Jeez, explaining all the rules every time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to Let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed information regarding the dead body. I've brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Hey, hey. Nice, you say. You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? I, my, my. 
Monami, the meaningless mascot. You are still here. You stupid Don't put me in the meaningless mascot genre. Come on, let's go. Your turn's already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. Ouchie, don't pull my ears. They're going to come off. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look it over just in case. Oh, tasteful. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between throat and abdominal region, resulting in death. Aside from that, the body has no other external injuries, and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So, Byakuya is really dead. Damn it! You promised there wouldn't be even one victim! Why did you end up being one? And now, I'll never know what you were going to say to me. I cannot talk to the others about my past. I suspect my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't it that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys, it can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor? No way. Just because he said a lot of serious things doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Obtained a truth bullet. Monokuba file number one. Anyway. We need to carefully examine everything. That's right. I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, uh, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. 